Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our beginners video series on Windows Server 2022 here on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure conditional DNS forwarder in Windows Server 2022. DNS conditional forwarding allows to forward DNS request about a particular domain to specific DNS servers. Usually, conditional forwarders are used when you want to configure quick name resolution between multiple private internal domains or if you do not want DNS request from your server to be sent through the internet. In this case you can configure conditional forwarder on your DNS server to forward DNS request for a particular domain zone only to a specified DNS server. Here is a typical scenario. Two companies have merged MSFT Webcast and Mitis Lab. Both companies wish to keep their AD infrastructure separate but need to share data. We need to configure conditional forwarder on both domains for quick DNS name resolution. First, let's understand the test lab we will use in this video. We have two Active Directory forest in our test lab. This is single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. The AppQDN of this domain controller is srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50. This is our second active directory forest named mytestlab.com. This is also single domain active directory forest. The FQDN of this domain controller is dc01.mytestlab.com. This server has an IP address of 172.31.72.50. First, we will verify that we cannot ping the domain controller in the msftwebcast.com domain. To do that, right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. Type ping srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com and hit enter key. After waiting for few seconds, we will receive message that ping request could not find host srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com Our DNS server is failed to resolve the IP address from the given host name. Let's add conditional forwarder in DNS. Go back to server manager, click on tools and select DNS to open DNS manager. Expand your server name. Click on conditional forwarders. Right click on conditional forwarders and select new conditional forwarder. Type DNS domain name. In this example, the domain name will be msftwebcast.com. Now enter the IP address of the authoritative DNS server for msftwebcast.com DNS zone. In this example, it is 172.18.72.50. Now hit enter key. You will see a check mark or X next to the IP address you enter. Do not worry about an X if you know the IP address is correct. This just means it could not do a reverse lookup on that IP. If you entered a FQDN and it shows an X then you have a problem. Under server FQDN it says unable to resolve. It is recommended to enable this checkbox to store this conditional forwarder in Active Directory and replicate to all DNS servers in this forest. If you don't select this option, then you will need to enter the forwarder locally on each DNS server. Click OK to save the forwarder setting. Now let's go back to Windows PowerShell again. Let's type the same command ping srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com Hit enter key. We are getting replies back from the IP address 172.18.72.50. This means a local DNS server is able to resolve the IP address of given host name using conditional DNS forwarder. We also need to add conditional DNS forwarder in msftwebcast.com. Go back to MSFT Webcast DNS server. This time we will use Windows PowerShell to add conditional forwarder. 
Right click on Start Menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmd late add hyphen dns server conditional forwarder zone hyphen name mytslab.com hyphen master servers 172.31.72.50 hyphen replication scope forest. Here replication scope with forest switch is used to store this conditional forwarder in active directory and replicate to all dns servers in this forest. Hit enter key to run cmd -lit. The conditional forwarder added successfully. Let's check that in DNS manager. Click on tools and select DNS. Expand conditional forwarders and click on mytslab.com. Right click on it and select properties. We can see the replication scope is set to all DNS servers in this forest. This is the IP address. And if you want to edit this master server's IP address, click on Add it. If you have two authorized DNS servers for mytslab.com, you can enter the IP address of the second DNS server here. Let's click on OK and click on OK again. Let's go back to Windows PowerShell and type command ping dc01.mytslab.com and hit Enter key. We can see we are getting replies back from the IP address 172.31.72.50. This means we have successfully configured conditional DNS forwarder for mytaslab.com domain using Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video on how to configure conditional forwarder in Windows Server 2022 DNS server using GUI and CUI method. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.